Hasn't missed but three times. All of them on lane 32. No, he did leave a seven pin on 31 before this seven pin. Well, the tournament leader, who in this case is Gary Mage, has got the odds going on his side. They've won six out of seven tournaments. Earl's averaging 268 in this pair. That's uh, mind-boggling. Cross lane at the seven pin. Well, he just sort of touched it a little bit. I remember a, a couple weeks ago in Beaverton, Earl won two games in a row, and then Dickinson disposed of him in the championship match. Yeah, it, cer it certainly is a possibility. Gary's off to a fast start. Earl wants to strike in the second frame. And it falls late, but falls. A little bit of funny pin action. Watch the shot by Earl that. Anthony. Now watch the 10 pin. Looks like it should fall fast, but it's the last one down. Earl in the third frame, a strike, even the match up. And I'm sure he wants to get Mage's attention by evening this match right now. Oh, yes, he does. Look at the concentration. Oh, well, he pulled that ball and he got a great break. Earl takes the lead sitting on the bench. Is that the Marshall? Is that like bleeding in front of a shark? Oh, when it's Earl Anthony, it is. He's up by five pins, and he doesn't like to give his opposition much of a chance. Hi. Right. Well, Earl gave him a big chance there. He threw the ball very, very poorly, breaking down the two seven. Over. Take a look at this shot. You'll see it's going very, very high. I'm not sure what hit the two pin, but he leaves just the seven. And it, yeah. <laughs> He knows he's fortunate, and he shot at enough seven pins in his career. This shouldn't be too difficult. Has the conversion. Well, Mage won in 72, Lob and Anthony in 70. John Hersena, his first title came in 1990. He waited till he was a senior. And, of course, Hargrave still looking for that elusive first title. As we see Gary and his two children framing him. Well, the difference is only four pins. And Earl has shown that he's human. He's made a couple shots that weren't quite perfect. Boy, he's very fortunate. He'd left just the six and the ten pin, the seven pin, the last pin to fall. And I think he's got to be asking himself. Well, you did it. You got him hooking. <laughs> <laughs> As we see Earl Anthony, who made the comment, "Made you did it. You got him hooking." Just does break down that split. Yeah. That's okay. Pick this one up. Has the spare. Earl Anthony, sixth frame. Trailing by eight pins. And working on a spare. He's got a handful in Gary Mage right now. Came in high on this lane in the previous frame. Get back more room. And he looks to be back on track, Mike. He's got to get the room or it hooks early. Yeah, he's got to make sure the mistake he makes on the right lane, especially, is to the left. He pulls a little bit. It will not hold pocket. It'll go through the nose. Kind of a key shot right here. He went high on this lane the last time. He can take a two-pin lead with a double. Oh, yeah, he uh, doesn't want to give Gary the chance to run away and hide from him like he did to his two previous opponents. Tripping out the six. Oh, Earl working on a double. Can take it to 12 pins. So what kind of a move does he make now in the left lane? Been high now three times on this lane. Well, he's either got to move just a little bit to his right, or he's got to up the speed on the left-hand lane. I, I really feel like... Once again, in the ninth frame, he has a chance to really put the pressure on his opposition. Although a strike here will not shut Gary Mage out. Leading by 13, taking a little extra time. Well, oh, something disturbed him. I've never seen him back off like that. I'm not sure what it was, but 
regained his composure. Well, he trusted it just beautifully in that every time. He did have an eight count back in the fifth frame. Nine for the win. Good speed. Oh, oh man. Boy, he knows how fortunate he is. That wasn't that bad a shot either, you know? Well, something was wrong. Maybe the lane all of a sudden started hooking. Well, needs to convert this, right? Has to make this fair. If he gets nine, we'd have a time. We have a time. We'd have a roll on. There's your champion, Earl Anthony. Well, not the way that he wanted to do it, I'm sure, going through the nose in a crucial situation, but uh, that puts him at 225, and he doesn't need anything on this field ball to be the champion of the Tri City Senior Classic. I don't know the crowd knows that he won or not, Mike. Yep, they know. And even Gary Mage is applauding. Anybody but you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 